Okay, so you need an embosser at school or at home or at work. But there's so many terms and so many specifications out there, it can get confusing. What is interpoint? What is interline? What is all this stuff? So I've been working with embosser companies since 1999. So I picked up a few things along the way. I thought I'd put together a little video and just kind of give you an idea of the landscape that's out there. What companies are there? What do the products look like? Try to help you choose when you're trying to select a braille printer of your own. Welcome to iReadAT, Braille and Innovation. So first of all, there's just two companies. It makes it real easy. They make about 90% of the world's embossers. Just to kind of clear the clouds, you've got View Plus in the USA, and you've got Index in Sweden. And then everybody else pretty much that sells Braille printers is under those umbrellas somehow. So View Plus makes all the embossers for Irie AT, make the Irie Braille Buddy, make the Irie Braille Track 120, make the Irie Braille Sheet 120, and then View Plus also makes the APH Pix Blaster. So then on the other side, you've got Index. Index in Sweden, they make the humanware slash enabling Romeo 60 and Juliet 120. And Index also makes the Page Blaster for APH. So that's it. That's pretty much what's out there. You got two companies making embossers for the world. And how do you tell all these guys apart? Basically start with price. The next thing to consider is page size. Is this going to do a wide braille page, the standard 11 half by 11, or just a letter size? Next you want to look at the speed of the embossing. In desktop range, we range between 25 characters per second and 120 characters per second. You also want to look at whether the embosser can print single-sided and double-sided, or just single-sided. If they refer to something as interpoint, that just means that it's double-sided. You'll also want to look at whether the embosser uses cut sheet media or it uses tractor paper. You might consider tractor paper for the longer printing jobs. It can make that easier. But also the cut sheet offers advantages if you want to do things like braille business cards and other cards and labels. And it takes advantage of all the cut sheet media available for mainstream printing. Another consideration is whether the embosser will do ink and braille simultaneously. Some of these devices will emboss braille and print ink all on the same page. If you come across the term interline, that's what that means. It means it's print and braille interlined with ink. Starting with price, the lowest priced braille embosser in the world is the Irie Braille Buddy. This is a special project between View Plus and Irie AT to try to recognize the fact that in the United States we provide pretty much zero funding to citizens at home. So we wanted to create a solution just for the U.S. to try to make something available to people that want an embosser at home. In other areas, look to the View Plus M Braille for your lowest priced solution for braille. In the mid-range of price, we find the majority of embossers sold. But to clear the confusion, remember there are just two companies making these. In the mid-range, all the devices are fairly similar, with one major difference. Some of them do cut sheet media, and some of them do tractor media. Besides that, a lot of the specifications are pretty similar between the different models. So really we're just talking about two companies with two devices with different brands and different packages. Okay, so let's break it down. For tractor-fed embossers, we've got View Plus making the VP Columbia, and we've got Index making the Basic D. So then underneath that, you've got View Plus that makes the Irie Braille Track 120 and the APH Pix Blaster. And then you've got Index that makes the Humanware slash enabling Juliet 120 and the APH Page Blaster. And then for sheet-fed, you've got View Plus making the VP Delta, and then the corresponding product coming from Irie, the Irie Braille Sheet 120. These mid-price embossers can all emboss on wide paper. They all have speeds up to 120 characters per second, and they all do double-sided slash interpoint. In general, there's really not a huge distinction between these guys. You're going to want to look at the different software and accessory packages that are available, and you obviously want to consider price. And also, you might want to look at whether they do variable height tactile graphics, if tactile graphics are important to you. Going up in price, we start to see the specialty tactile graphics embossers, like the famous Tiger embossers used for Smarter Balanced. You also start to see options for embossers that will emboss braille and print ink simultaneously. And at the very top are the production embossers. I'll tell you about ink and braille embossers, Tiger tactile graphics, and other related topics in upcoming videos. Make sure to subscribe to the Irie A2 YouTube channel for trainings and more information about braille and low vision products.